Orioles. Orioles getting ready to face the Detroit Tigers in the first of a three-game series. It's cold in Detroit. We've been told about that. Let's go out to uh, Detroit right now with our Jims, Jim Hunter and Jim Palmer. Hello, Jim. Hello, Tom. How are we doing? And, uh, you know, Jim, I think it's fair to say when the schedule came out, the Orioles knew the first couple of weeks of the season would be a challenge with 14 of the first 20 games on the road. Cold weather certainly has helped. Now, obviously, they would have liked to have started better than 5-11, and 11, but there is still time to turn this around. But here are the numbers so far. They played only six games at home and 10 on the road. Three more here to close out this stretch. Uh, the opponent's record, they played some good teams, 47-25. and 25. In fact, four of the first five series against AL playoff teams. Now, the next 13 games may be a little bit of a break because the Orioles on Friday night begin a 10-game homestand. And, Jim, I guess as you look at it, 5-11, and 11, what you want to do first of all is get back to 500. So how do you do that? You worry about tonight, hope to win and move on. Yeah, well, you got to win them one by one. And, you know, you like your pitchy matchup with uh, Andrew Kashner, a uh, two-year deal, $16 million. But why are they 5-11? and 11? Uh, You know, last year they were so good with runners in scoring position, second-best number. Uh, this year they're hitting 212. Last year, 287. Starting pitching hadn't been as good as it once. They're only hitting 216. So there are a lot of reasons. You know, they're not a team that historically uh, 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 steals a lot of bases, even though Gentry's done a nice mm -hmm. job. He's four, four out of four. But you know, day in and day out, one of the problems they have is the fact that they strike out too much. So when you do get the opportunities, you're only hitting 211. When you do get guys at scoring position, you got to get them in. So this is an opportunity. But, you know, again, uh, I'm thinking, okay, yeah, you know, the Tigers haven't been playing particularly well. But they're probably thinking the same thing as right, we think right. about them. So, again, you know, who's going to play better? It's a great place to start. And, uh, yeah, the, the schedule has been tough. That 22-10 and 10, uh, start last year didn't seem a whole lot when you only win 75 games. So maybe this year, slow start early. And then all of a sudden, uh, they're a much better club as the, the season progresses. And I guess if we talk about Jim taking it one day at a time, one game at a time, I guess mm -hmm. if you're a hitter, it's one swing at a time. And if you're a pitcher, one pitch at a time. Try not to do too much and do whatever you can to help the team win. Well, we, we know Scott Kuba, who's the hitting instructor, and don't think that, uh, and you know, we had a chance to talk to Howie Clark, the assistant hitting instructor. They're telling him this. It's, I think you want to get off to a good start, and then when you don't, what happens is that sometimes, you know, you want to kind of do it in one swing. So they got to go back. You look at Trey Mancini. He's become the leadoff guy, Jim. Why is he, uh, you know, why is he hitting uh, close to 300? Is because he's using the whole field. So we have a lot of guys that are capable of doing that. Manny's over 300. He very much like Trey spraying it all over the ballpark so everybody has to get back in that mode and hopefully it'll start here in Detroit and the elements are not favorable exactly like it was on Sunday in Boston temperature in the mid 30s but the wind chill guys is in the mid 20s but to their credit the Orioles did take batting practice on the field so we'll see in a little bit for game one of this three game series O's and Tigers back to you get your parkas on guys <laughs> <laughs> oh we got them believe me <laughs> so since cameras go off I know you're putting them right back on uh, just uh, thanks to Jim and Jim they'll be along with the game in a few moments.